Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Evan Johnson from Asmodee North America. Hello. We're looking at Rune Wars miniatures game, which I assume ships two to a case, maybe? Uh, three, I believe. Three? I think Thank they can cram three in there. Okay. But <laughs> I mean, yes. You've not quite achieved the cube yet. Right, right. But We're on our way. We're on your way here. <laughs> now, uh, we have some components here that yes. I assume do not ship in this manner. They, they do not. So nicely painted. So, yeah, yeah, so this is a section. traditional miniatures game in that the figures come unassembled and unpainted, but we've taken a lot of steps to make sure that they are easy to assemble and easy to paint. Okay. Um, do you want to give an overview here? Absolutely. Of, of so Rune Wars Miniatures game is a rank and file miniatures game, which means that you, instead of commanding individual figures, you know, having like a little skirmish in the woods or something, you are have blocks of figures, you know, ar army blocks. This is one tray, a, a figure or a unit could easily be nine of these trays, you know, 36 spearmen okay. all marching in formation. This is war on a grand scale. In many ways, we kind of took uh, some of the systems that we learned from X-Wing and Armada. You can see these, these movement templates mm -hmm. and uh, evolved them a little bit. We adjusted them to fit uh, a game of fantasy warfare in this way. So it, it's a traditional miniatures game. You're trying to destroy your opponent's figures. There are objectives that you'll want to complete to score points. And, uh, and that, that's how the game works. It's a lot of, obviously, that, that spatial aspect that is right. unique to miniatures games. And then, um, and then resolving combat, the complexity of that. It, uh, I think that we, what we set out to do was to make a miniatures game that takes everything unfun about miniatures games and <laughs> throws it away. In that, you know, there's we're not measuring. We're not measuring for each right. figure. Or at least it's it's more limited. Exactly. Or it's standardized in terms right. of how you're measuring. Right. The combat is is complex but is not overbearing. You know, we're not gonna need to consult tables after every dice roll to figure out what happened. Right. You know, it, it's very, very fluid in that way. Well it seems I mean, it's just interesting talking about people who gained 10, 20 years ago, and it's sort of more the standard. And yeah. I think it goes back to like those college days where we would spend eight hours doing right. whatever. Right. And now it's, I got an evening, I have a couple of hours. Yes, we'll yes. And, and Rune Wars definitely fills that gap. Okay. Um, so what are the sides that we're so, doing here? Is it strictly uh, one versus one, or how Yes, do, how do it's a two-player game. Um, okay. Though I suppose there's nothing stopping you from, you know, throwing more than that armies against each other. But the but the game is set up to be for two players. Okay. Um, there are two factions, right? Just in the core set, there are the Decon Lords, which are the these humans, you know, with with their with the Rune Golem and all that, and they're fighting against the forces of Wykar the Undying, these these undead, these skeletons, and they have this guy riding this big worm. Um, there are more factions that are coming that are on the way. Um, and so we're very excited to be to be growing this game, to be increasing the number of uh, of options available. Okay, so yeah, so you have individual units or figures. Yes. And then you have a squad, or I don't yep. know how you. So there is the figures going to their holes in a tray. A unit could, is composed of one or more trays. Okay. In most because cases, these it's also more. linked together. Yes. Uh, linked together here. Yes. And usually, you know, you'd have all the trays of the same unit, but there are certain upgrades. You could take some upgrade to get, like, this carry-on Lancer at the front of your unit, you know, kind of leading the charge um, in that way. So, yes, the trays all link together in that way, and then you just kind of push them along the battlefield as a group. Okay. All right. Um, if you want to do yeah. any overview of the combat or... Sure, sure. The so, so these are the command tools. These are how you choose uh, what your units are going to do. The dial on the left is the action dial, and as I said, that selects basically what you want your unit to do. You can and these are going to be different for different units. Yes, so every unit has a different these. dial because every unit behaves differently. You know, commanding uh, some cavalry is very different from some skeleton archers, and so on. Uh, the dial on the right is a modifier dial that allows you to tweak your action in some way. That could be inflicting more damage, raising your defense, you know, turning a, a march into a charge, that kind of thing. Every uh, action here has a white number and that's its initiative so your initiative is kind of baked into the action that you choose and so you'll if I have a initiative four action we'll do everyone's ones twos and threes before we get to the fours and then this will resolve and okay. then we'll do the five six sevens and so on all right this game is highlighting all my ineptitude in the game <laughs> because I those timing issues uh, I never do well <laughs> you know you learn yes different skills for different people absolutely okay um, and as you say, there are more 
sets or expansions? Yes, and we've already announced, uh, I believe, 12 expansions. So it's a very aggressive uh, schedule of coming out with more expansions. So far, the, all those expansions have been for the two existing factions, but we have more factions coming. Okay. Uh, we plan to have four factions by the end of the year. Okay. But again, for 1v1 games, or yes. you just... Obviously, people will do what they want. Exactly. When they, I, I mean, yeah, you know. it's your game. You know, you you play it how you want to play it, and that's the right way to play it if right. for all intents and purposes. Um, but if you went to a tournament, for instance, that would be one v one games. Right. Okay. All right. Thanks very much for the overview of Rune Wars miniatures game. It's hefty. <laughs> awesome.